I'm tired of the stereotype that black Americans don't want to work. I've worked hard my whole life, but I got laid off and I've got mouths to feed. I need a job. What I don't understand is now that is part of a TV ad you may have seen recently and it calls for Congress to stop allowing immigrants to take American jobs. Joining us this morning is executive director of Numbers USA, Roy Beck, the group responsible for that ad. Thank you. Good for morning. In. Good morning. Okay, so now we're talking about immigrants, illegal and and legal, legal. absolutely. Immigrants. Okay, so how, how big of a problem is this and why is this ad really per, in particular to Baltimore? Yeah, well, first of all, the, the differential between black unemployment and others in Maryland is the second worst of any state in the country. Okay. So b black unemployment in this state is, is horrific and it's horrific in the country. 20 million Americans of all races and ethnicities okay. who want a full-time job can't find one. And f over three million of those are black Americans, but the percentage of black Americans that are employed is through the roof. Uh, and and that's, that, I mean, what are we talking about here? Like the, the broad measure, the government's broad measure of unemployment, which is called U6, okay. is it's right at 20%. 20% of all black Americans who want a full-time job can't find one, 20%. For young black Americans under age 30, okay. who have some college, it's 25%. For young black Americans under age of 30 who have a high school degree, it's 40 percent, and if they don't have a high school degree, it's 60 percent. Okay. So we're talking about a national tragedy, and one of the reasons we're right. focusing on black unemployment, not only is it so much worse than the rest of America, but it tends to be really concentrated, so whole communities okay. get brought down at the same time. Well, and that brings up a question, though. I mean, we were talking about immigration as a whole coming in. I know that they're allowing one million workers to come in, but is it the place of the jobs? Does that have anything to do with it, where the actual employment is? Well, well, it doesn't. For the most part, look, people come to America either as legal immigrants or illegal aliens to get a job. So they tend to go mostly where the jobs are. Uh, but the thing is, is that if you didn't have them flooding into places like, for example, California or Florida or, or a lot of places on the East Coast, businesses would go where the unemployed Americans are. They would, okay. So you'd have places like Baltimore and Maryland in general that businesses would be more likely to move to because they'd need the work. Okay. The trouble is, is that the businesses in America really don't need okay. black labor. And so they've been able to just uh, kind of throw away. Okay. All right, well, thank you very much for coming in here.